Okay, we've walked further east from Omaha Beach. We started off way down there by where you see the buildings and the flags and the people. And as we traverse east, we believe that this was the spot where Bill landed, right in here. In fact, you can see Ryan at the place, the opening for the draw that we think he went on. Over there is WN62. Bill said earlier that the guns could not traverse this far. So they, he was getting fire, but not the heavy fire from the Coville draw further to the west. As we go to the east, you'll look on the top and you'll see the um, outlook or the overlook for the um, American Cemetery in Normandy. And this, this opening here, he would have ran up the beach just like this, gotten out of his craft. He said he landed in waist deep water, about four feet up to his chest, made it onto the beach, had machine gun bullets hitting three feet in front of him. And as he ran forward, he was just trying to find some place to get off the beach. He said no one was in front of him. And we think that this draw right here, one like it, again, not much of a shingle compared to what's in Colville. And he would have walked right up here and then traversed up this draw on top of what is now the American Cemetery in Normandy. So we're going to continue up the draw. This is where Ryan's big feet get some better purchase on the sand. <laughs> That's a bunker. Yeah. This is a bunker. Yeah. So here's some some of the things he would have been faced with. We believe this is the approximate position of the WN63 blockhouse or complex. Bill said it was basically right on the sand. Yep. Let's walk up here a little ways. This would have been very inviting to a soldier on the beach that day when you couldn't climb the bluffs. These natural draws, and this is a lesser one, and one that was not planned to be assaulted in force were some of the areas that the GIs took advantage of as they were uh, misdropped and drifted from west to east due to longshore currents from the storm the previous day. Now, clearly, this wasn't here then. Okay, as we continue up, we get to this dirt footpath. And for all we know, this could have been the one that was used by Bill and his men or any soldiers trying to get off the beach. Or it could have not been here at all. But one thing I've learned is that trails and roads, once established, usually stay established. Let's see where this goes. Oh, wow. A view of the beach. It's beautiful today. Wouldn't have been 78 years ago. This would have been a great place for a blockhouse. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we're on this path leads to uh, the top of the bluff. It's going parallel to it. And on December, sorry, June 6, 44, this would have been a blessing and a curse on one hand the men would have been off the beach, uh, AKA bloody Omaha. But on the other hand, they would have been up here on the bluffs where the Germans were. And this is where a lot of the fighting took place. And in fact, 
This is where in very many mem uh, movies and books, they show American GIs uh, not taking prisoners when the German garrisons were overrun because there was so much a bloodlust from seeing so many of their men die on those beaches down there. So this would have been a different type of hell, but from this point forward, it would have been off the beach, heading east into the Bocage country until they could break out in St. Lowe. There's a monument up there. We're gonna go peep it out.